how's everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today i have a haul for you guys that i'd share, you, share with you some products that i did pick up i did do some purchases at rite aid at ulta and on amazon.com and i also have a little something else to share with you guys that was sent to me so if you guys would like to stick around and see what products i got and what was sent to me keep on watching Okay, so first of all, um, yeah, I did some damage here, so we'll get into that in a bit. But I wanted to share something with you guys. Mary Glitzy Fritzy. Most of you probably know her. If you don't know who Mary Glitzy Fritzy is, I'm going to put a link down below to her channel. You must go and check her out. And I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. You're missing out if you are not subscribed to Glitzy Fritzy. Now, she has a jewelry store, you know, and she has started to expand it uh, along the way. She has several other people from YouTube channels that she's kind of named the jewelry from or kind of represents them a little bit. I've known Mary for a good while now. I mean, like I have been subscribed to her channel well over a year, maybe or something like that, even longer, especially after the passing of Cece. And I admired her very much for being this wonderful person and a survivor from stroke. And she was so determined and she was just, uh, there just always was something about Zizi. I don't know. She just, she really knocked it in my head when I had my little pity parties, you know, like there'd be days I'd be thinking I had the worst thing ever going on or something happening. And then she just changed all that a lot of different times. And that's all it took was I'd see she was on and I'd watch her and, uh, she just was such a wonderful person. And, uh, you know, Mary kept in contact pretty well after that, especially. Uh, Mary had told me, you know, about she had an idea and she wanted to show me an earring. And uh, so now this is crazy because like, are, if you, if you're sitting down, I hope you are because I don't have my ears pierced. Some people get shocked because some, some of the things that I tell people they get shocked by because they're like, you don't have your ears pierced? No. I know there's probably maybe some others out there that probably don't have their ears pierced. I just never had the ambition to do it. Now I do. Funny enough, it's like, man, when I turned my in my 40s, I just went through this phase where I got a tattoo and I wanted to do this and that. And I was just going through all kinds of stuff. I still am. I'd still get my ears pierced. I'll be 50 here coming up in a few weeks. I don't care. I'd still get my ears pierced. I figure you're never too old, too late or anything like that. So Mary, I know she has that same attitude. That's probably why me and her click pretty well too. She had said that she always noticed that my jewelry was kind of a little bit edgy. And she had showed me, which I have on my ears right now, or my ear right now, not ears, just one ear, is one of those uh, cuff earrings. And I thought, oh my God, I love the idea of that because number one, I love seeing those that have their ears um, pierced back there, I think they're quite brave, which coming from a person that has a huge tattoo on her back, I still don't think I would get my ear pierced there. I'd be too afraid of that. I am not going to lie. That one I felt very chicken from. <laughs> not going to lie. So I like it because then I can have sort of like an earring there. It's like a little cuffed earring. And it's just super cute. I love it. She did send them in a cute box. Here's the box here. It has like a little bow on the front. Do you know what? This looks like a box that would come from Tiffany's. No joke. I mean, seriously. And this earring here is not a flimsy earring. Like, it's really good and well made. Because um, I had a cuff earring one time before. And it was kind of flimsy. It wasn't... It was so easy to bend it like broke in half eventually. Not this. This is this is very uh like very well made. Anyway, yes, I'm part of the, the Frit Fritzy family. <laughs> she says I'm part of the Fritzy family in her jewelry store and I feel honored and blessed. Yeah. So I will put a link down below to her uh store. And this is uh called All That Edgy with Lori. Like that name, all that edgy with Lori. Hmm. Makes me think could have changed my name for my channel. That's $10 too. She has them for $10. 
So I hope you guys go pick one up. They are so super cute. I mean, especially if you're like me and you want to get, you wanted to get your ear, you, you like the idea of your, of a piece here, but you're kind of too chicken poop, as I say, to, to get it done. And you're like me, this is the perfect thing for you. Like just have a little cute little cuff earring there to kind of, to kind of give it that little edge, you know, put a link down below to her store and also to her channel. So go ahead and check her out. Thank you so much, Mary. You know, I love you. Mwah. I love you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and see what damage I did do. So let's go to Amazon first. I did get some items from Amazon and I did do a video which should be up before this. Yes, it should be up before this because I'm filming this the same day. I did a review on the Rose Hip Night Serum from Live In Rose. I did do a uh, whole video and I actually have a giveaway going on. Uh, it's for two weeks worth. So June 15th is the last day. Midnight Pacific time. US only is the only thing. I'm sorry. I hate to say that, but that is it's only US only and it's through them. And I'll put a link down below to that video. So if, if you are interested in joining the giveaway, uh, details will be on that video. The other item I got, I heard Susan, Little Poet Susan, she had talked about the Matrixel 3000 Argoline Vitamin C uh, serum. It's like a serum oil and I wanted something with vitamin C in it. So this way I do get my vitamin C every day to put in my skin regimen. And I have heard people talk about the Matrixel uh, itself and then Argoline. She caught my attention when she said, you know, you have like all three of them in there. And I thought, heck yeah, because this, the rose hip was like $23.97. This was, I think it was like 12 something, 15 something, maybe even less than that. I'll put links down below and everything. This is from a company called Asterwood Naturals. So this is another company that does base their comp stuff on natural. I, I love my Mario Badescu rose water spray. I love that stuff. But I just kind of wanted to try something else. We came across the company called um, uh, Andalou. Is that how you pronounce their name? I'm not sure. Andalou. I've seen them already like on Ulta and I have looked at their stuff on Amazon. So I seen this one here. It says 1000 roses, floral toner, tonic floral, uh, with rose stem cells. This is a really nice fine mist spray. But oh, the mist is so fine. It's like a nice fine mist. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I can smell the roses, but not too potent. But I really like this. I think I might even like it more than Mario Descu. And that's saying a lot because you guys know how much I rave over my Mario Descu. <laughs> Let's go into Ulta. I did order the Becca palette this here I see Chrissy somebody I you know what? I, it's terrible I don't even know who she is I'm not even sure who she is I just know this palette's pretty <laughs> and I got it and I missed the Jaclyn Hill one I never did get that I have seen it pretty mirrorized mirrored uh compact and it does have that's the bronzer blush and then the two highlights or the two highlights on these ends here Hibiscus Bloom is the blush, Rose Gold Highlighter Beach, Nectar is the other highlighter, and Malibu, Malibu Soleil is the bronzer. So I'm not going to really get into too much swatching. I'll probably play around with it another day and that because I don't want to have Yins on here forever. But it is really pretty rose gold packaging. So I was super glad I picked this up. Okay, so some hair products I picked up, which pricey hair products, but I want to, since I got my hair done and got it colored and everything, I do want to take care of it in the best possible way. You know, I do like the company Joyaco. I had products they had sent to me before. If they never would sent me the products, I don't even know if I'd have known who they were. And I do have one of their K-Pack, um, it's like a deep conditioner for colored treated hair. And I really like that. So they were having a sale where you buy two, get one free kind of an item. So I bought a shampoo and a conditioner, the K-Pack Color Therapy uh, shampoo and conditioner, like I said, expensive. Like for these sizes right here that are like a 10 ounce, like 12, 12 to 14 dollars, you know, or whatever. Uh, I think usually shampoo is cheaper than conditioner, but yeah, 
that's how much, but it, it's still to me worth it because I'm trying to expand in my hair products. I probably got one of those too for free because I know this I didn't get for free. This was like twenty some dollars, and it's the Joyaco K Pack Color Therapy uh, Restoring Restorative Styling Oil. And you know me, I love a lot of styling oils or oils in general in my hair. They work wonderful, help deep condition it. Um, give it the extra shine and everything. I knew I wanted to pick up the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Diamond Dust. This is her Diamond Dust Illuminator. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. So if you haven't picked it up yet and you thought about it, I'd get it quick because it is limited edition. There it is on my finger right there. And it shifts like a pinky, purpley, just all kinds of uh, iridescence to it. It is just beautiful. I seen the Fiona Styles, like for some reason Alta is getting rid of Fiona Styles products. Don't know why they're doing that, but they're getting getting rid of all her stuff. So a lot of it's on sale for really, really reasonably priced on Alta. And I seen one lady showing, um, she got a palette I think it might have had like a bronzer blush and high, it was like a three pan thing. Well, I ended up getting the six pan one, the bigger one. It had like uh, like three blushes on the bottom, on the top it has like two highlighters and then a bronzer. I believe this was around almost $20. Now it is sold out on there now, but here it is here, like the three blushes on the bottom and then you got two highlighters on each corner and then in the middle is the bronzer. And the blushes are gorgeous. Like uh, I'm not like I said, I'm not going to do too many swatches because I don't want to make this a real long video. I'm going to have to already edit it as it is. But I'll let you see more when I play around with these products, like do another get ready with me or something like that. If you guys are interested, anyway. Then this product I've been wanting and I kept waiting and waiting. I'm glad I did pretty much wait. It's her. Um, Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation Concentrate. And I've been wanting it. Obviously, the word luminous caught my attention. Uh, the packaging is gorgeous on this, too. Not to mention, like, this beautiful purple um, chrome kind of a d design on there. But I did hear Emily Noel talk about this. Uh, she seemed to really like it a lot. And I think I got it for like around 15 maybe or something like that. I forgot I did pick up something at Pure Cosmetics. I actually ordered on their site because they got the Troll palette back. And I wanted to get the Trolls palette. It is on Kohl's still, so you can order on online and get it at Kohl's. I do believe Pure Cosmetics still has it on sale on their site too. Uh, but I was just on the fence and back and forth. But when I seen it was back on the Pure Cosmetics site, I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and just get it. There's Poppy right there. I think that's her name. I should know that because my granddaughter is crazy for the trolls. So there's the palette there, the outside paper thing that they put in there has like, you know, like Poppy. But this has such beautiful colors. I mean, seriously, look at those colors in there. They are so pretty. So I wanted to get my shipping free. I think that was $30 for that palette, like $29 something. And I think if you spent $35, you got free shipping. I wanted to get my free shipping. So I picked up this cute little palette called Elevation. And it's three little highlighters in here. And it came with a little, like a little fan brush in there too. So it came with that. And it's just, it was $15, about $15 for this thing. So it comes with uh, three cute little highlighters with some of the highlighters there. It's like just a three pan highlighter. There's uh, one called Boost and Altitude and Upgrade. One's more like a champagne, one's more of a yellow gold, and then the other one's more like um, peachy gold or something. We're going to go ahead and uh, write it, I believe. So, so I picked up a Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm. Do really like these lip balms, so I picked that up. I did pick up, uh, L'Oreal was having where you bought one. You bought, um, it was for eye, eye and face or something like that. Uh, you bought one, you got the other one for like half off, 75% off or something. So I got one of them Silk Me um, eyeliner pencils 
This one is in, this is in True Teal. I picked up three of, these are the infallible paints for the eyes. So there's like two, two on each side. I got Cool, cool Ivory. There's Cool Ivory. I actually have this color on from the Cool Ivory on my lid. And let me just say, the staying power, pretty impressive. That's what made me get two more because I originally had this one. This is the first one I bought and it's called Nude Fishnet. And it looks this one here. Then I had to get this one, of course. I got uh, Shady Violet. So that's Shady Violet. Oh my gosh. These are really impressive. And again, Emily Noel, she she got me in trouble this time. She was talking about these and sharing these on her channel. I'm going to get the orange one too. There's an orange one, like a sunset orangey color. I mean, seriously. Is that not crazy? Like, look at that purpleness right there. It is gorgeous. Uh, Marlene, if you don't have these, Marlene Fab and Glam, you need this purple one, honey. Yep, because I know you're a purple, purple gal like me. I mean, seriously, like, look at that. You put that light purple on the lid and that purple on the. Oh, stop the madness. So, yeah, and they. Do not budge. I, I think I hear a red cardinal. There's a red cardinal outside my window. Do you hear it? Cover Girl. Cover Girl has their lip paints, like their lip, whatever you call them, melting pout, melting lip things, similar to, you know, obviously Too Faced and, and whatever. Um, I got 105 and 110. I'm thinking about getting this one purple color. It looks really pretty. Um, they didn't feel too bad on the lips. They weren't drying or anything like that. Um, they almost go in like a moussey kind of a thing, sort of like the melted melted uh, lipsticks from Too Faced. One of five is Joeful. That's this one here. And then uh, Evangelical is uh, 110. So this is one of five uh, Gelful, and it has more brown tone in it for the nude, like a, it's a nude color. 110 is right up on top there, and as you can see, it has more pink in it uh, for a neutral. So that's the difference between the two. And Wet n Wild, I did pick up one of their gel lip liners. I wanted to try one of them. This one's in 654C. Never pedal down or something like that. So it looks kind of a nice pinky tone. I do have, dang, I have it in my purse. I bought, I have another color and I like it a little bit better than this one. This one does show a little bit. Gel Lip Balm from Wet n Wild. This one is in Tees. So it is called Tees. It's in the color called Tease. The other one I have is more uh, in the purple, like a purple family. So right there it is. You can see it like little glossy, shiny. It doesn't show as much as the other one does, but I still like it. It's nice lip balm for just real quick in the hurry on the go. Open Wet Wild. I picked up another liquid um, cat suit. They're Mega Last. They're lip products. Right now I actually have Rebel Rose on. And I actually topped my Rebel Rose because I didn't want just a flat matte on my lips. I do like my gloss. So I put my Mariah Carey, her, one of her lip glosses on, like a topper. Nudist Peach. I did pick up Nudist Peach. Oh, so pretty. I do really like these myself, too. I have to be honest. I like the doe foot applicator. And I don't mind how these apply. These do apply nice. I mean, I, I could wear them and they wouldn't bother me, like, just as is. But that's nudist peach right there so pretty physicians formula was having like buy one get the other one half off kind of a thing so i did make the plunge and it was only one left i did pick up the butter bronzer that so many people are really liking and it is in the bronzer shade they have like one that's in a lighter shade and then this one and honestly i'm a fair complected and i have heard many people say 
If anything, don't get the light one, do get the bronzer one. Another item I got because I heard so many people and it's new and it's the Insta Ready Full Coverage Concealer and it comes with one of them little spongies. But a lot of people were saying, well, not everybody, but several, I heard saying that they felt that it was almost close to the um, that MAC concealer that some people like. Y'all might know the name of it because I've never bought it and I just can't think of it right now. But it has like a pump. It pumps out. So we're going to give this a try when I'm doing uh, my makeup application, putting on new stuff. And then lastly, I thought, what the heck? I don't know if I've ever tried mascara from Revlon, but this one caught my attention. It's called the Mega Multiplier at, for one. That's what it's called, the Mega Multiplier. And But this one's in Plum Brown, which I thought was interesting. My like plum brown. Hmm. It was the last one left. And I don't know, just the thoughts of it. Like I thought, will it uh, make my eyes pop a little bit? I, I'm just curious. Do you know what I mean? So, and the wand looks quite nice. Um, it does mention about fibers in here too. Uh, innovative formula combines the fibers and 360 tube technology in one step to plump and extend the lashes. So I don't know, figure give it a try. Never tried, I don't think, a Revlon mascara. So, so don't forget to check out Glitzy Fritzy Mary and the shop and check out some of these earrings and pick yourself up a pair. They're like $10, but you want that little extra something there. It's so cute. I like it. All right, beauties, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much, and I very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. I'd love to have you, and you can go ahead and click uh, the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. I just put my fingers in my lip gloss. But you can also hit the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That will let you know and notify you by email of when my videos are uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, please, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the world be shine through. So until the next time, you take care. Bye. We'll see you then. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.